Hello everyone and welcome back to Ram Labs. Boy, it's been a while since I've recorded. Um, but you know, it's becoming a theme at this point. I really need to get my organization done. Now, just for this one, uh, we're gonna do like the same kind of thing we did with the life pod in the sense we are actually gonna start building an engine the engines first. So I've came up with a rough idea of how it's gonna work. So the way we're gonna do it is very simply, and that is Engine there, engine there, engine here, engine here, and then we're going to flip them to the side like this and have engine here and engine here. Now these six look, I think that looks like a kind of cool fed up from there, and these six should be more than enough to propel the station. Uh, at its current mass now, but obviously we're going to be adding more modules, weight's going to be changing, not weight, there is no weight, math is going to be changing What when we're adding stuff, so what we're going to be doing is we'll put some just simple block thing down the middle and adding some additional thrusters. Likewise we may put some on the side here, but personally I just think we just grab some uh, simple blocks here that we may just do something like this uh, and just do something kind of cool like that on each side around the sides so it kind of looks um, yeah like if we grab a the light armor slope Oh, lag spike, lag spike, lag spike, what are you doing? Don't worry, uh, for uh, season 2 the lag spikes will defo calm down because I'll be getting you, uh, uh, I'm getting an upgrade for my PC. Because, uh, at time of recording it is around Black Friday and I don't feel I should have done it like that. I think I should have put flat pieces on here. And then, yeah, like this. And then here, I reckon we can maybe just do, we'll just do it, we'll just do it flat for now. And the reasoning is of why I've left the, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a merge block maybe, not really there, or maybe like just a connector there so we can see if we can maybe dock other bits to the station later on. If we, if we like need to add like a, an extra like hydrogen engine pod I feel like if we leave connected there that could be a good idea so we'll just go across like this and we'll do that and we'll put like a on the other like kind of I uh, like a block to turn it around there and then we'll have connectors on each end there we are but obviously we're gonna kind of mirror this on the on the other sides and then uh yeah we'll uh cut back come back when we've done that hello everyone and we're back so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start well we've welded all of this up and honestly i think this looks quite good to be fair all things considered so yeah now what we're gonna do is down the middle section here I think we'll, um, as you can see here, we don't like that, right, we'll just do, oh, lag spike, right, we'll just do that and that, and then we'll just do these, kind of, all the way along, really. Uh, if we go get some steel plates, we can just quickly weld them. Uh, let's just do that, even more. Yeah, there we go. Three just weld uh, these corner ones quickly. Two. Oh, we need more steel. Oh, um, we should probably fill up our tank as well. There we go. Hey, <laughs> ah, bless me. Now, that, like that, like that, 
and then we can just, uh, you know, we'll just uh, weld those. Here we go, ta-da! So now, we've got all of these lined up. Uh, we can literally just do... Hmm... I kind of think like that would work, look best. We'll just do iron thrusters all the way along like that. And then that should be this, relatively done. Now we're just gonna cut ahead and weld these. And here we are. So what we've done is we've moved it into the actual high bay and we've uh, done a line of these down here and just done a little thing with the idea being that we can essentially drop a just a connector into there on like some sort of Thing in the sense that you know we can take this out and put like a kind of line in or we can do something clever like this in fact I may modify this so it just has one kind of block here or something like that to make it look better but we can do that near the time now because this took construction took a little quicker than I thought and I mean you know I thought I need bigger engine systems but I don't think I will I think this will do and I've got the RPSs as well. So yeah, next plan will be to start hop into the lab and start building the little drone designs, which shouldn't take very long. So the third thing I am oh, we've only got like one steel plate. Let's go grab some more. Uh steel and we may as well fill up the uh tank as well while we're here. Right. The first thing I was thinking will be literal, like, miniaturized uh, camera drones, which we'll need three of. So if we just pile up, and they'll need, like, a big exterior connector as well, so we're just going to clear out all of these. They'll literally just be a observation and repair, kind of observation and, like, recon kind of scout drone. So we'll just need this uh, a camera, a gyroscope, a... Remote control and a antenna, really. And I mean, it's just going to be built as basic as I can flip and get it. So, oh, we'll need battery as well. Uh, or, may or maybe even just, I don't know, maybe a small reactor on the top. Okay, so third thing we'll do small reactor on top, like this. Uh, uh, hmm. I feel like this could be kind of like the Darth Maul kind of uh, little uh, thing. Oh, we, we'll need interior plates for that. So we've got reactor on the top, we've got the little antenna. Uh, if we have... Hmm. Battery there, battery there, gyro, gyro, remote control here, maybe let's grab the light, light, a light armor plate there, and if we put like an, it's maybe worth to, to get an ore detector on the side as well, just on the top, just to stick out and make it look kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, if we just have the... Hmm, uh, yeah, let's go grab an interior plate. Interior... Yeah. Oh, and uh, now if we grab a remote control and we take it like that. Light armor block. And we go. If. 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 
in fact place their life armor block there kind of silly because we won't be able to weld it oops yeah uh let's weld it up now and then we'll worry about the front in a second and there we are so that's the front all welded and i realized i was being really stupid because i haven't put any thrusters on it which you know generally good idea because that's what it's gonna have to be doing so we'll literally be putting uh i think an ion thruster on the on the top then we'll do that but an ion thruster on the bottom uh iron thruster is like this Then we go light armor block, light armor block, light armor block, light armor block. Weld, weld, weld. Wet, wrong one, weld. Ion, ion. Light armor block. Oh, there goes the energy. Let's just recharge. I've done for now, right? And then we do uh, another armor block. Uh, the camera, which will be placed like that. Then we'll do that, that, that. Uh, if we grab a light armor piece like this. Then we can literally do this, this, um, this, oh yeah look at that little drone, that looks quite cool. And then what we'll literally do is I've just realised that's blocking reactor app yeah. because I played to do far forward. Uh, no. Oh, I'm okay. Energy low. Yeah, I know energy is low. So what we can do is we'll just do something like that and that on each side. It's going to look like a really weird torpedo. Here we go. Did I not pronounce it right? Yeah, and then we're going to rig up just the very simple stuff like this. Uh, and yeah, you kind of get the idea, so we're just going to cut ahead to when this is done. And here we are. So, you may see the main difference I've had to put an iron thruster on the front. And that's because of me being me, I always forget to put reverse thrusters on. Uh, and if we go into here, we've named it. And ooh, we should put the Shenanah sure, no, antenna, but range of 5 kilometers, that will be fine for now. Uh, it's just a small recon drone, uh, so we're just going to probably put RD1 on the front of everything quickly. Uh, just to make sure everything's okay, we won't bother using the programmable block like we normally do. Normally do. Uh, and there we should, there we should be. Hang on. Oh, the iron thruster as well have to do with that one, Jared. Other than that, and then we'll just build three more, two more of these rather, and that will be that. And then next will be the engineering module, and the actual um, EVA uh, system. There we are, all done. One recon drone. So we'll just cut back when we've got uh, a couple more of these. 
And here we are, our three little drones. Um, I haven't really got any good names for them other than Recon Drone 1, 2 and 3. Um, you know what, if any of you have gotten game suggestions when this video eventually airs, uh, drop in the comments and I'll rename them as like as soon as I get that. Um, but you know, just bear in mind that maybe like two episodes is certainly even two by the time that happens. Or I don't know, because I don't have enough planning. But yeah, anyway, these should work and what we'll end up doing is we'll dock these to the engineering module and essentially the rough plan is, stupid as it sounds, is dock the engineering model to this, dock all of those to the engineering mo well, dock those to the engineering model, dock the EV like the EVA kind of suit thing we're gonna make to this, okay? Dock this to the engineering model and then send it up backwards. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm gonna have to send it up backwards. And yeah. With the idea being that I would like somehow like just push it on of bad as that sounds. Well no, to be fair, these are gonna have remote controls on them. So I can just put it like I can just put a remote control in the actual thing and provide they have RCF thrusters. Yeah, I'll ha if I put RCF thrusters on the engineering module on like the top and bottom, uh then I should have only directional thrust. And yeah. So yeah, I should be able to pilot it the rest of the way pretty easily. But uh yeah. I think that about wraps it up for this uh, for this episode of Round Lab, so I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!